try vlogging on a work day so I could maybe you know get some more proper vlogging in however it's noon and it's the first time I'm talking to the camera so on the weekends sometimes I get paid to sit around and do nothing for my job and then sometimes I am busy from like you know sun up to sundown so today's one of those days is a super busy day but I still thought like there's little moments for me to vlog and talk to you guys um, I want to talk about how sugar thanks to Valentine's Day has been destroying my skin um, I want to talk about the Lanshin Gua Sha tool over the five Yina tool body tool that's in the Beauty Heroes box this month I want to talk about the Yina body recovery balm serum thing it's amazing I just want to tell you right now it smells like tiger balm and I love the body tool one thing somebody was asking me was could you use the Yina tool the body tool that comes in the Beauty Heroes box on your face and so I'm gonna show you that tonight so you can get an idea whether or not that's kind of doable or not I have mixed feelings on using it on my face So I'm pulled over in a sugarcane field driving to a patient's house. I go all over the place sometimes. <laughs> this is by far the most remote I've been though. Um, anyway, I just wanted to tell you about taking the, my supplements. So I have been taking the Beverly Hills MD supplements now going on six weeks. I'm absolutely loving it. I, my body feels so good. Um, I was really looking into saw palmetto and I think it really like helps with pre-menopause hormones. So I'm really enjoying taking it. Um, sorry, I'm moving you around. And the funny thing is though, because I've been eating sugar, it's really interesting because I have had such hydrated, luxurious skin while taking these supplements, um, but sugar, when I start eating sugar is when my skin noticeably gets dehydrated and just like ruined, in my opinion. So that's a little update on those supplements, but I'm still taking them, I'm still loving them. I just got home and now I'm going to wash my face with the Pi Rose Hip Oil Cleanser. Now I've noticed that two things have kind of factored into me not having as good of skin. I'm still having good skin, but not as good as I did last month, even though I'm doing a lot of the same things. And one of them was eating a bunch of sugar. And I know that just immediately dries out my skin. I can tell now. Um, I immediately sense it. The other is these solubilizer oil cleansers like this is the other thing the only two factors that have really changed is I, I started using this again and I just this is supposed to be one of the best green beauty oil cleansers and I just I'm not convinced about using solubilizers as a way to get these products off I don't think that it does good things for dry mature skin or maybe normal skin. I don't know, everybody has their own feeling about it. But for me, I'm, I'm using this product now because it's convenient, I still have it. So one of the things that's definitely gonna happen is when I start selling my soap, which is gonna be probably in the next month to six weeks, I'm gonna be 
launching my oil cleanser and it's not going to be emulsifying it's going to be washcloth and i have special washcloths i'm going to sell with it and i'm really excited and i feel so at peace that it's the right decision Mom. skip the solubilizer Mom. yeah baby Ooh. what a day what a day what a day it was a long one and it's still going i still have a bunch of work to do um so let me really quickly update you i'm fresh from the shower i have nothing on my face right now I'm still using, I'm still enjoying the Fit, Go, Fit Glow Beauty Essence. Um, it feels so nice. I really like it. So then I had taken this out of the routine because I wanted to see how the Kypris performed without this oil. But you know what? I was one week into it and I was just really feeling like this oil is magical. And I never thought in the, my lifetime would I ever say that my skin loved an oil so much, but it does. It absolutely adores this oil. I feel like it's magical. So it's 15 mLs and it's lasted quite a while. Um, so I love that she sells it in that 15 mL size that makes it really accessible so it's fresh and Anyway, I wanted to show you the Lanshin tool versus the Yina tool. So the Lanshin tool has these really beautiful curved edges that feel really gentle on the facial skin, um, which makes this tool feel really nice. And it just feels so suited to the contours of the face. Um, in ways that this doesn't. So you can't really see it, um, but this here on the Yina tool has a much sharper edge. So when you, I mean, for some people it might be fine to do this on the face, but for me, this one just feels so much smoother and it feels like it's giving you that lift when you use it. Um, on the other hand, I love the Yina tool, the serrated edge for doing this. This feels really great and it hasn't aggravated my jaw at all. I also like it for doing this, for just kind of relaxing uh, what I feel like is, you know, my muscles and things like that in this area. So then also what I do back here is I do a lymph massage on my neck every night with this. It smells like Tiger Balm. It's got a very thick consistency. It is potent, but I have been using it on my legs and massaging my legs with this. I keep hoping it's gonna help like smooth out the cellulite. So yesterday I took my kids to the trampoline park that we have here because we were having a homeschool Valentine's party. And I was bouncing my two-year-old up and I, totally jacked up my neck. I was like, oh my gosh, I called my husband on the way home. I'm like, I might have to go to the chiropractor today. Like, I don't know what I've done. And um, I came, I stretched a lot at the trampoline park. And then I came home, I applied this. I did this in that area for like a good 20 minutes. And I didn't even really think about my neck today until I was like sat down to talk about this tool. So um, this, this, to me, I don't, I don't know. This might be like in my top five favorite Beauty Heroes discoveries of all time. All time, all since 2016. One of my favorites right there. If you've been thinking about it, I highly recommend it. Let me just say it is more of a medicinal balm than it is like a moisturizing, occlusive, skin protecting balm. It, it feels medicinal. So, okay. Now, let me show you, this was my first container of the Puff of Love, I've finished it. So this one sample lasted me every night for about two weeks. It is very, very moisturizing. Like I can see why Kypris kind of rose to the fame that they have because even now, there are very few brands making such hydrating products. Like their level of hydrating ingredients and the focus on hydration 
really calls to mind K-Beauty. And there's really, in my opinion, there's really not a lot of brands that are doing their style of products. So I feel like they're unique in that way. Are they worth, you know, all the money? Uh, I don't know yet. I will say that I think the Puff of Love performs best in a super simplistic routine. It is hydrating, it feels lightweight, but the next morning your skin still feels bouncy. So, I mean, it's a beautiful product, and I think for people who are really seeking a minimalistic routine, that have aging skin, that want hydration, it's a gorgeous product. Um, I've been using the antioxidant dew. When I use these together, it's just way too much. Like the antioxidant dew, I would really say would work for normal or oily skin. For somebody that's using a really minimalist routine because they already have a lot of their own natural oils, this might be like something like all you need because it's got that hydrating sort of film forming feeling. It's a beautiful product, but when I'm using the Puff of Love, I wouldn't say that I would need the antioxidant dew. It's just kind of like redundant almost, it feels like to me. So then the Ad Astra. Now, what I will say about this product, I don't know that I noticed any results yet, but it does not absorb, but it stays put. So it feels like, you know, if an eye cream was gonna work, this would definitely be the one. Look at this sample. I have barely even touched it after two weeks. So we're gonna know. Uh, I have enough sample probably, this will probably last a month, maybe more. We're gonna keep using this and seeing if it really works. Now, a highlight for me lately has been using the Basswood Beauty Caffeine Infusion Coffee Eye Balm on my lips. It feels almost exactly to me like the Osmia Lip Doctor, but it's like $5. It has that same gorgeous cocoa butter smell, but mixed with coffee. It's so moisturizing. I feel like when I put it on, um, when my lips have been dry lately, it just magically transforms them. It is gorgeous. Basswood Beauty Coffee Infusion Eye Balm for your lips. I don't know that they suggest it that way, but I've been using that way and it's, it's lovely. I've been trying the Pot of Shade, their sunscreen. Sadly, it just feels like it's not very stable. It kind of feels like the emulsion breaks a little bit, although it is hydrating. And now something disappointing, my supplement use. I was using the Goldie um, Cacao Turmeric Latte, but the truth is like for me to drink that, I need to give up a coffee serving. And there's just never a time that I wanna choose that over coffee. Like it was convenient when I was pregnant because it was so, uh, I couldn't have very much coffee. So in a sense, I've, I've ditched it. It's just not practical. I can't incorporate it, I'm skipping it. And so what I've gone back to are these Suja Organic Immunity Defense Shots that they sell at Costco. You're very welcome to be upset with me about the waste that each individual shot comes in its own plastic container. However, it's so insanely good. It's turmeric, echinacea, um, probiotics, and I just feel like lately with my job and the COVID and everything that I just feel like I'm justified in drinking them. They're so spicy and such an enjoyable treat to me. I really like earthy things, so it's easy for me to remember to do it every day, and um, yeah, I love it. So anyway, that's it for this video, that's it for this vlog. I look forward to updating you, but yeah, the takeaway is there is magic in the Black Locust Firming Concentrate. Basswood Beauty Eye Cream for your lips is like the best value in beauty, in my opinion, um, and this Yina Recovery Body Treatment Box from Beauty Heroes is an absolute stunning value if you are someone that works out, has muscle pain, um, does a lot of stretching, and you really want to enjoy treating your body, toning your, you know, really providing that plant medicine to your skin, uh, to your muscles, 
It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I've been doing it every night with the yoga. So I put it on, I do the yoga, and I'm feeling like, yeah, it's just funny. I don't know. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like this is a really worthwhile endeavor this plan that we've been kind of going down in 2021 because i really feel like the yoga the supplements are doing tremendous things for my posture for my skin for my overall overall sense of well-being about myself um, which is kind of leading to a positive outlook just good choices like I don't know I mean there's definitely something to be said for the idea of using wellness to treat your skin um, and that it's not all topical products but anyway I will see you on the 21st for a green beauty theory video we are going to be talking about sunscreen bans in Hawaii because in January 2021 is when all the sunscreen ingredient bans went into effect and Cosmetic chemists have a lot to say about it, and I, as a resident of Hawaii, have a lot to say about it. So uh, tune in on the 21st. We'll be talking about the sunscreen ban. Thanks so much. Bye.